My name is Stanislaw Robert Liberta, and today we're going to be talking about markers, to-dos, and chapters in Final Cut Pro 10. If you've edited in Final Cut Pro 7 or Premiere or some other editing program, you're probably familiar with markers. Markers are a great little way to either leave a note for yourself or to set specific things up or to come back to as either comments or things that you still want to work on in your production for a later time. In Final Cut Pro 10, there are a couple different ways to use markers. The first one is just to create a normal comment marker. So if I go to any point in my timeline, wherever I put my playhead, let's say right here, and I hit the letter M, that is going to put a marker on my primary storyline. If I have my secondary storyline selected, and I hit M, notice it's putting it right on that secondary storyline, on this adjustment layer I've, I've created here. One thing to note about using markers in Final Cut Pro 10 is I don't have a way to put markers onto the actual timeline itself here. It's always going to want to put it onto a clip or a generator or some other piece of media. So I've got this marker here and you'll notice that as I'm hovering over it, it kind of lights up here. See how it scales up just a little bit? And if I click on that, it's going to pull up a dialog box. And currently right now it just says marker five. In here, I can change this to, uh, let's say, adjust exposure. And I can go ahead and leave that as a note for myself. And if I'm working with another editor, or if I'm just quickly going through this and kind of leaving notes for myself, a lot of times I like to leave to-dos. So a to-do is just like a task list. If say you're, you're making a reminder list or a grocery list. If I'm going through my individual clips here, and let's say in this particular clip, <clears throat> let's say in this particular clip, I want to just kind of create a vignette around the outer edge here. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and at the beginning of this clip, just hit M and double click on that. Open up my dialog box. I'm just gonna say add vignette. And I have a couple other icons here. This first one here is just a standard marker. My next one is a to-do. And as soon as I click on that to-do, it changes my marker from blue to red. And now I have a task list. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that one there. I'm gonna go a little bit further and say maybe in this spot right here, let's see if maybe we can do an alternate camera angle. And I'll hit done. And now what if I want to just go through my to-do list. So let's say I pass this off to somebody else and they want to kind of see all the different tasks without having to go across each individual piece here like that. What if I have something that's maybe an hour long for a documentary? I'm not going to want to scroll over and hunt for each one of these. Well, that's where we can go right into our timeline index here. So right to the side here, I've clicked this little button here and this opens up a script of all my different clips and exactly what happens when. So I start with this logo and then there's my storyline, a multi-camera, etc. Otherwise, if I go under my tags on top here, you'll notice that my tags, I can have things listed by show standard markers, show keywords that are used, show analysis keywords, or my to do. And if I click on each one of these different items, it takes me exactly to where that to do is. Now that's also true with markers here. So if I click on individual markers, you'll notice there's my adjust exposure and I can just expand that out a little bit here. It'll take my time indicator right to those points. If I go to this add vignette right here and let's say I double click it, it's going to go ahead and open it up and I can review it. And if I hit marked complete, well, now it's turned green. 
And now I can see, hey, what's been done and what still has to be done. And over here in my timeline index, I can see that I have only one more to do. Now I can review that down here in my completed to do items. So if I have a list of different changes that I need made and whoever I'm working with has made those changes, I can then review them by clicking on this and it shows me what's been completed. Now, what I might want to do is just add a separate note. So if it is completed, like add vignette, decided against it. And then I'll probably just put my initials here. For me, that way I know when the last time I worked with this particular tag is. So if something is time sensitive, I can see, okay, I decided against it. I signed my name on it and the date. So now that's done. I have one more marker that I can use here, and that is a chapter marker. Now, if you're making lots of DVDs, which, you know, to be honest, I, I don't think I've made one in, a, in at least a few years, but I can add different chapters here. And what's great about these chapter markers is I can actually set a bit of a duration. So it gives me this little call out here, and now that is underneath this button here. Now what happens if I want to delete one of these markers? The easiest way for me to do that is to come right over here into my different markers that I have, whether they're uh, just regular markers, to-dos, completed, etc. And I'll just click right on it and hit delete. And that will remove it both from my timeline and from my index. So that's the way you use markers and to-dos in Final Cut Pro 10. If you found this useful, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials in Final Cut, After Effects, Premiere, and other programs. If you're looking for additional training or full classes in video production or video editing, be sure to visit my website, www.stanislawrobertliberta.com.